Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech, and today I want to give you a tutorial for Sony Vegas 12. This also works in 10, I believe. Probably 11, maybe 9. Anyway, this is how you properly do face blur. Just in case you're making a video and you got somebody in that video that shouldn't be in that video. I'm going to show you how to do that after the intro. Alrighty guys, so what we got here is a clip from when we went to the Dominican. We are basically in the pool. We are in the bubble pool. So this clip here, what we're going to do is, there's my mom, there's my dad. We're going to blur out mom's face. I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you need to do is right click on your video track and you need to insert another video track. You can also do that by going up here to insert and then choosing video track and it'll drop another one in. Then we need to right click on the video only the video portion not the audio go down to group and we need to remove from the group now the audio and the video are two separate entities okay then what you need to do is copy the video click on the top track so it's highlighted in blue right click and paste where the frig is it ah oh, there it is right at the top okay and then you want to line these up so they're perfect next step control press and hold control and select all three items right click again and save it as a group now no matter which one of these you click on they're all going to be bound together okay you don't need to do that step i just recommend it for simplicity now the way this works is this track here the one on the top this is the one you're seeing on the side monitor the track down below is the background track okay what we're going to do is go back to the beginning of the footage. Then you need to come over here to the pan slash crop event. Click on that. It'll open up. Now down here where it says position, just below that it says mask. Click on mask and then you'll come up here. Now you got some tools here. You got the normal edit tool, the anchor creation tool, anchor deletion tool, uh, split tangents and like you can make a rectangle or a circle. So like let's say you want to make a circle. This is the easiest way to do it. So we'll just grab it here and we'll mask out mom's face. And now we need to go over here and go to negative. Set it to negative mode. Now what that's going to do, if we go back out here, I'm going to mute the bottom video track and you're going to see now on mom's face, it's got a great big black circle. That's exactly what we wanted. Because what we're going to do with this track down here, the secondary, is we're going to come over here to where it says uh, this is the event effects. Then you need to add a Sony defocus. Mine is right here. Boom shakalaka. Standard settings should be good enough. And if we go back to the beginning of the track, there's mom's face all blurred out. Now, to make this look a little better, come back up here to the event pan and crop. See here it says opacity 100%, feather type none. Click on feather type and set it to out and bring this up to like a one or 2%. And if you look now, it's blurred and it's kind of faded around. But there's a problem. When we play the video, it doesn't really follow her face. This is where it gets time consuming. Basically what you need to do is go back into event pan and crop, make sure the mask is selected. Come up here to the normal edit tool, make sure that's selected. And then you need to manually go across the bottom on the timeline and adjust the circle to always cover the face. And if you'll notice, as I'm moving it, the video is playing on this screen. So it makes that job a little easier. And what this is literally doing is animating that circle to follow along wherever you put it. So I'll just power through this and then I'll show you the final results. And there you have it. So every single one of these diamonds is a spot in the timeline where the thing will move. And I do believe if we scroll back through it, we can see it moving around. It should always be covering mom's face. And then if we render this up, this is what it will look like. So there you have it people, that's how you can easily blur a face out. Just in case you're out there videotaping and somebody comes along and says, hey, I don't want my face on my on this on YouTube or depicted in any way, now you got an easy way to blur that face out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. Any questions, comments, or ideas for other effects you want to know how to do, leave them in the comment section. I'll see what I can do for you. And until next time, guys, peace the frig out.